Deep, fat, fried. Deep, fat, fried. Praise Jesus. Do you feel his power, y'all? Praise Jesus. Do you feel his power, y'all? Oh. Now, TJ. Can I feel it, dude. I want Fucking you to listen to me it. like you've never listened to another man before in your entire life. One day, a man's going to walk up to you and he's going to ask you a question. And you better know the answer to that question, TJ. That question's going to be, are you washed in the blood of the lamb? I said, are you washed in the blood of the Pray lamb, the TJ? I said, are you washed Pray. in the blood of the lamb? Pray. And if you can look that oh, man yeah. in the Pray. eyes without any lies in your heart Pray. and tell him, yes, sir, I am washed, I'm washed in the blood, in the blood of the lamb, the then the eternal lamb. paradise waits oh, for Jesus. you. And if you look at that man in the eye and you tell him, no, I'm not washing the blood of the lamb, you're going to hell. You're going to burn in hell. You're going straight to hell. Oh, You know, before we get started here, we really should make a little commentary. One of us... Deep fat fried member down, boys. You know what I'm talking about, TJ. You know what I'm talking about. This one right here, over here, took the walk, huh? Took oh, you the know walk. What? You know what? What? And I know. Now, Scotty got married yesterday. Yeah. Got married, Scotty. Hitched. How you feeling, Scotty? Uh, the same as I felt before. Mm-hmm. You know what happened? The dread hasn't set in. I know yet. for a fact. I know for a fact that each and every one of us uh-huh. got laid yesterday. <laughs> you do? <laughs> I do. Because first, I, here's how I know. I know Scotty got okay. laid because he got married and he went to New Orleans. Yeah, I'm of course. So unless he got whiskey dick, he definitely got laid. Boom. I know I got laid because I was there. Mm-hmm. I know Paul got laid because I woke up from my post coital bliss <laughs> to hear. <laughs> and I even heard Paul go, Ugh. I'm like, Man, I'm getting up now. <laughs> oh, no. I ain't no going back to sleep oh. now, buddy. <laughs> Dude, I've heard Paul fucking a grand total one time, and it was like... It was- he just is weird, dude. No, I mean, How's it weird? He just he went like, ugh. You know, he like, almost made the Tim Allen noise. Pretty did close. It, it, it was. Did I heard Paul? It was like, ugh. And well, I'm just like, whoa, dude. Do. Whatever. <laughs> That's how Paul busted up, I get dude. into some kinky role So play. I know for a fact that everybody everybody here yeah. got laid. Yeah, so this we're, be, we're all feeling pretty whoa, mellow. This should yeah. be a, a happy, well-laid show. Mm-hmm. About an unhappy group of people who feel not, the need. They're to actually really happy, dude. Wiggle snakes about? around. Yeah, I guess they're pretty ecstatic. They're happy. Well, they look pretty goddamn happy. They, you I know, know I mean, they really fuck are. you, dude. I mean, whatever you think about Pentecostals, dude, they seem happy. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, do we need to fucking Patreon? Oh yes. Uh, so let's uh, before we get too deep into the show. I know you guys watching us live are already patrons, but some of the folks seeing the ten minute preview of this are not patrons yet. We're pretty close to our goal of 3,000, yep. uh, which is at that point, we got to do a 24-hour show. We will be doing a 12-hour show later this month. We'll probably be announcing that on Monday, the exact date and time. Um, as you guys know, you get a robust array of features on our Patreon. You get the Friday Deep Fat Fried episodes. You get um, some... Um, some loser named Abandoned TJ. Abandoned Hope from uh, TJ Kirk, also known as The Amazing Atheist. Um, you get Cynics vs. Cinema, which actually you guys got some of that today. Uh, if you're patrons, that was just sent to you guys you got a earlier. morsel. You get some uh, exclusive ideologies. We've already done some of those for you this month. Weird, conflicting one. <laughs> Scotty, Scotty decided to do it the same night that we did. Almost the exact same time. So it's pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, you guys got a Scotty and Taylor stream. 
You guys got a TJ and Paul stream from uh, Hideology. That's exclusive to patrons. Uh, I'll be doing the Abandoned Hope a little later this month. We'll be doing the 12-hour show for everybody later this month because we reached uh, one of our patron goals. So Pessimist Productions Patreon, it gives you a lot of fucking great shit, and we're adding more all the time. So, so much crispness. Oh, yeah. So much freshness. So, so much juiciness. How can you say no? You can't. You just can't. You can't fucking say no, man. You just can't fucking say no. How Come you? to the buffet. Yeah. Feast. <laughs> Look how it's doing for us, man. Look at us. The pictures yeah. of health. Robustness. TJ's Freshness. at the buffet right now. Look at him go. Yeah, oh, I know, yeah. that fat motherfucker. Mm. I'm done with my crap. You ever so. stop eating, TJ? Um, I've tried. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work out. Anyway, so we should probably talk a little bit about Pentecostals. A little uh, that bit, be, huh? That being the topic of this year episode. No, I'll tell you, let's just get, gloss over that part of oh, it. Oh, okay. Uh, so, Pentecostals exist. Anyway, they handle snakes. They handle um, snakes. That's pretty much it. They great. Thanks, Deep guys. Right out. Okay, well, I guess maybe we should go a little more in depth, actually. Uh, so, Pentecostalism is an evangelical faith, uh, emphasizing the reliability of the Bible, which most of them are like, this is bullshit. But... Um, and the need for the transformation of an individual's life through faith in Jesus. Uh, like other evangelicals, Pentecostals generally adhere to the Bible's divine inspiration and inerrancy, the belief that the Bible in the original manuscripts um, in which it was written is infallible. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> cool. Oh, they think that the, they it already get, sounds retarded, but all right, keep going. Pentecostals emphasize the teaching of the full gospel, the or full gospel. four square gospel. The term four square refers to the four fundamental beliefs of Pentecostalism. Okay, so here, you guys ready? Yep. I want to learn, dude. Number one, Jesus saves. Okay. That's according that, to John that, That's 3, a pretty 16. basic one. Yeah, all right. Uh, baptizes with the Holy Spirit. That's okay. uh, right. according to Acts 2 4. Uh, heals bodily according to James 5 15. Okay. And is coming to receive those who are saved according to 1 Thessalonians uh, 4 16 and 17. Sounds so good. there we go. It's about uh, Jesus saves. You got to be baptized. Jesus will heal your body. And uh, he's coming to receive those who are saved. So those are the four key tenets of. Pentecostalism. So the basic, you know, cult of death bullshit. It's all about when you die. It's all about, oh, the second life. When you fucking die, you get to go somewhere special. So yeah. You got to do all this bullshit to get there. Not only that, though, they really emphasize the idea that you have to kill yourself basically one time to get into the church. You have to burn away everything that was left and be born again in the fire. So you know in what the I mean? fire. You must be completely brainwashed. So how do they do that? They just set you on fire? Well, <laughs> I mean, that, that the description that you read doesn't really give you a picture of what a Pentecostal service is like. They're super wow. energetic. Well, we've got one here if yeah. you guys want to take a look. Um, headphones on. Headphones on, gentlemen. Let's take a little quick gander at a Pentecostal service. I've seen him, but this is this is crazy shit, dude. Go ahead and make the video full. Hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and raise the volume of this a little bit. Kind of a soft video. It's an old reason. video, so. I might what are you probably gonna do? have to go readjust this again later. But... My God, his power is real. My God, his voice is sufficient. Oh, yeah. I'm on my way home tonight. I said I'm on my way home tonight. Already got another milestone. And we may be... You know, at least, like, unlike most churches, it at least looks like they're having, like, some fun. They're moving around. They're I mean, I don't know. Their arms. It, it, it looks painful, and, and it's supposed to be painful. It's called baptism by fire. Some some churches call it being slain in the spirit. Yeah. Like, the spirit literally comes down and kills what you were. But it looks way more entertaining than just sitting around a boring well, dude, it's Catholic like, mass or something, you know? It's like, you know... A bunch of white people got really bored, and they're like, look, these other churches, they're kind of boring. Let's, like, fucking get up and, like, you know, you just sit down. You're kind of sitting there for, like, an hour. You're just really bored. These fucking people participate in their fucking shit, dude. So th I, I can already see the appeal of this if you're just, like, coming from another, like, point of view of Christianity of, like, oh, man, church is boring. It's like, these motherfuckers really, they get up, they dance, they fucking yell, they shout. 
Plus, if you're a fat fuck, this is the church you want to join, right? Yeah. You know, oh, you'll yeah. lose weight being a Pentecostal. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. yeah. You get your fucking spiritual fulfillment and your fucking spiritual steps nourishment, in for the day. Paul. I mean, it's like, it looks like a workout. Well, all like, these people look sweaty as dude, fuck. It's cathartic, too. Imagine that shit, too. It's like you're letting all this shit out. You're like, yeah, like, ah, fuck. Ah, 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 and you're like, it's like you get to go in and be forgiven for all the bad things that you've done in your life every week. Like every Sunday, you get to go in and dance around and dance out all your sins, you know? Yeah, it's fun stuff. Another milestone! And we just might anchor over on the other side. Reverend Bobby Akers is holding a revival in his holiness church in Hillsville, Virginia. He believes the power of the Holy Ghost can reveal the hand of God. The Bible says... Praise him with stringed instruments. Oh my Let God! Everything just like headbanging that Praise shit. But I mean, it gets way crazier than that. I mean, people are writhe around on the ground and flop on the fl- floor like a fish and scream and yell and talk, talk in tongues and climb the walls and you swing know the best. The, the best part and, is, is that while they're all pretending that you know that there's some power spiriting through them, you know, they're feeling the Holy Spirit. It's just them acting out and acting up. And I mean, it's just an emotional release funneled yeah. through this 